Hi guys, must be three or four days since I did the last rubber band powered car and I've got another request to do one from Paige Des. Um, she wants me to use foam or sponge wheels. Uh, I think it's because she's had trouble using CDs and thinks that these sponge wheels will be easier. My personal opinion is that's the wrong way to do it. It's much more difficult to get these to run evenly. You've got to be very careful to find the centre to put the axle through. Otherwise they rock around and you don't get very good grip. But I'll do my best. Um, I've cut two wide ones for the back wheels and two smaller ones for the front wheels. I'm going to make use of some of my... Uh, what are these called? Flower canes, bamboo canes. Uh, these are off of a, an old project. I uh, can't remember what it was, but they're quite curved, so I shall have to use them the right way round. So, but I think, yeah, I think I can use them like that to make the chassis and a few cross members to stiffen it up a bit. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Right, switch the hot glue gun on. Uh, we'll make a few cross members here. These uh, garden canes have already been hot glued together, so they're um, two instead of one to give it a bit of extra rigidity. And I'll just cut some cross members to go across to stiffen it up, as I say. So about three or four inches wide I'm doing it. Show you what it looks like. So that's all bits of flower cane. And it's cross braced to make it fairly rigid. I'll use some drinking straws for the axle tubes. Just use a pencil sharpener to put a point on it, then I can just push it straight through those foam wheels. Okay, I've marked where I think the centre is there. This foam's about six centimetres wide. So it's going to be in the middle, <laughs> obviously. Three centimetres. the middle out of the tube. Right, we're in the kitchen. The target is to go seven to nine metres. So I've opened the kitchen door. If we can hit my front door through the hallway, then we'll have travelled about nine metres. Slightly less because we've got the length of the 
car there over the starting line basically but the target was seven to nine meters so if we can get virtually anywhere into my hallway up there then we've done well the biggest problem will be going straight enough to actually go through the door so we'll set up the first problem will be wheel spin I'll just demonstrate that so I've tied the rubber bands to the front there to that bit of uh, flower cane going across the front I'll put a hook on the back axle so I can just hook the rubber band in place and wind it up you want to make sure the rubber band doesn't foul on the edges of the drinking straws or that will slow it down I'll just wind it up a bit the first time just to demonstrate the wheel spin problem. Yeah, so you can see that was spinning the wheels. So I'm going to try just putting some weight on the back axle to reduce the wheel spin. Now we've got 11 ounces of lead weight on the back here to try and stop the back wheel spinning. So let's see how we get on. Success right the way through to the front door. So that was good. This time I'll try and chase it. Success. Summary time. What have we got here? Um, well, this one was for Page Des. It was supposed to be a rubber band powered car. Well, it actually said elastic or spring, so we got rubber bands. That has to go seven to nine meters with sponge wheels. So that's what we've got. We've got a car that's made from flower canes or bamboo canes um, double thickness on the sides to give it a bit of rigidity and also cross bracing to make it rigid that made it quite light which meant that the foam wheels had trouble gripping so I've actually added lead weights here, fishing weights 11 ounces of weight just to hold the back wheels down on the ground uh, but we achieved it we managed our nine meters well the length of my kitchen and the length of my hallway which is about nine meters um, but you've got to take out the length of the car from that because I couldn't start any further back um, the axles are flower canes as well and the axle tubes are drinking straws everything hot glued together and a nice string of rubber bands to give us the power and that's it quite a simple build really I don't like using this foam for wheels uh, it's not very good doesn't grip very well and not so easy to find the centers to make sure they run true and these ones on the front are actually coming loose now because they've lost their uh, rigidity on the inside I'd rather use CDs but there you go that was the task and it's done